We've gone application mad, cad crazy, and it's time for a holiday. All this week in Robot Combat. Welcome to This Week in Robot Combat. Thank you once again for joining me. And apologies that this is a little bit later than scheduled. Um, this is going to be the sort of Easter episode of this. Um, because uh, I'm not going to be making one on Easter Sunday. It's a busy enough weekend as it is for me. So no news on Sunday this week. This is what you're getting for two weeks worth of news. And then we'll do another one the following Sunday after that. And get back on track. Without further ado, let's crack on with last week, but also this week's news. Yes, the application window for BattleBots 2021 is coming to a close, and so the applications have been flying in thick and fast. First of all, pardon my French, who applied for last year as well. Pain Train team have applied once again. They hope to return. We also have an application from Team Equal Zero Robotics, who brought overhaul. We have Red Devil applying once again. Team Sawblaze have put in their application for this new season, as have Uh-Oh Robotics with Axolotl, and they have actually shown off a lovely bit of CAD work. This is the new look Axolotl. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love it. Vertical spinner still. They've sorted out a load of different things, including moving the weapon belts to inside the weapon setup so it doesn't just slide off. Team Big Dill have shown off their CAD for the new one this time around. Uh, earlier this week. This looks absolutely awesome as well. A lot of design, a lot of hard work has gone into this and I'm very excited to see this in action. Fingers crossed for them. Team Nebula Vanguard have applied for BattleBots as well. We knew that they had something in the works. This is the new look Vanguard. The team that brought us Vanquish a few seasons ago have taken a year off to build this. In fact, two seasons off to build this and it looks awesome. They obviously also brought Ragnarok a couple of years ago, so that is also cool. Team Waiachi have teased that they are hard at work building the newest robot or a new version of one of their robots, we don't know yet. Team Duck have shown off a full operations test. We saw last week a little image of Duck, which seemed to be a little taster for this, a full test video, which is absolutely awesome. You can see Duck driving around, doing its thing. It's pretty fast, it's pretty agile, looks well driven, and also, Features some quacky noises now. I love it. Quack, quack. Let's go. <laughs> and from one feathered friend to another, Team Two Headed Death Flamingo have shown off this latest version of the CAD and also an axe test of this thing in action. This is their new axe setup on the old chassis. This looks very powerful indeed. I'm very excited. Team Soothslayer have shown off a couple of weapon options for their new robot. This is the sort of hammer saw style disc and they also have the saw blade as well. Both look excellent indeed. And finally, a new robot, Switchback, has shown off its test video on YouTube. You can go and check it out over on the YouTube channel listed below. There it is. It is this sort of articulating drum spinner. It's a very cool design. They also talk about it having a suplexer setup. For battle bots they are hoping to get in and i think they might have a strong chance last week pete abrahamson the bot whisperer went on to the behind the bots podcast to talk battle bots 2020 and the future of the show be sure to check that out we have a first cad for the first robot i have seen confirmed for the Labman fight fest event that is happening later this year a featherweight university robot combat thing this is dullahan it looks very cool indeed. There's a full write-up over on the Strathclyde Combat Robotics Facebook page, so be sure to go and check that out for more details. And lastly, friend of the channel, Mark Smith, has been working hard on a new featherweight. This is Yippie Coyote, and what a name, I must say. The theming of his robots, excellent. I'm very excited to see this thing in action, hopefully very soon. And that's just about all for this time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to check out World of Woodrow on Facebook to keep up to date with any news stories that might come out over the following few days, weeks, months, years. Who knows how long this will go on for. And that's about all for this time. I hope you have a lovely Easter and I shall see you again very soon. Bye-bye.